Anna, Anna Lindstrom, you're the director of Jackie the Musical. How fantastic is that? It's absolutely fantastic. I'm having the best time. I haven't had such a good time on a show for ages. I'm really enjoying myself. It's just fantastic to be surrounded by such a lovely company, such amazing music. I'm, I'm thrilled to be surrounded by 70s music when I go to work. I mean, my, I've got the best job in the world at the moment. I go to work and I watch people singing and dancing and acting beautifully and singing 70s music, which I personally love and listen to for pleasure. So, yeah, I'm having a great time. It plays in your head and the music plays and the scenes play and you imagine how they could be. If things don't work on the page, in the script, you have to use your imagination to work out how they might work, how you might change them so they will work. And then you have to action that with the writer, with the composer, with whoever else is involved, and then of course with the actors. So you're constantly monitoring, constantly monitoring, and you're constantly reimagining how it will be, so that you're always on top of that end goal. As a director, you do have to be a bit of a bossy boots, but you obviously you have to manage that in a way that is appropriate and is and is polite and is and is respectful. But you have to have that part of you that is a little bit OCD about whether things are working or not, because if they aren't working, you have to fix them, and you might have to make yourself unpopular to fix them. So you really have to you have to have a very strong drive in you to make things perfect, because that's your job, is to make it all work perfectly on stage. Every minute to minute that's on stage is under my eye, as it were, um, with the added talents of, of everybody involved. I have to be happy with everything that's there um, so that I can go, we did it, it's how I want it to be. I think the audience will enjoy that. You have to have that monitor in your brain that knows that if someone else comes up with an idea that's better than yours, you do it and you don't hold on to your own ideas just because they're yours. Um, and so you have to be, it's not a matter of, it's, it's partly generosity, I wouldn't call it generosity, I'd just call it being a sensible director and being, being somebody that's managing the whole thing appropriately because, of course, if someone's got a better idea than me or a different idea or a new idea, I'm not going to veto it because it wasn't mine. Uh, but it's, it's managing the team is, is, is the job and managing what the audience is going to get and I, it's my job to make sure the audience gets the very, very, very best show they possibly can that is the combination of all the massive talent of the people involved. The script has real heart and that's what, that's what really drew me to it initially. If it, if, you don't, if it doesn't speak to you when you first read a script, it's really hard as a director to, to then manage that, that huge task that I've just described. It has to speak to you. What I love about Jackie is that if you were to take out all the songs and just tell the story, it would still be full of heart and interesting and fascinating and it would touch me and make me laugh. Um, the characters that Mike James has written are, are fully rounded and interesting and recognisable and, and um, tender. And the story is, is funny and moving and all the things that you want from a musical. Then you add in 70s music and already I'm in heaven, you know, and it has to have that for me to be able to do all the work on it. There are lots of male characters um, in, in the show. There are actually more principal parts for men than there are for women. Um, so there's lots of, that's lots of men, there's men of different ages. And their stories are told with as much authenticity um, and as much delicacy and as much care as are the women's story because it's life. It's, it's, a, it's a jigsaw of life on stage in, in front of us. Um, and so, of course, equal weight is given to different people's experiences. So it's not a show all about women. The central character is a woman, but God knows we watch lots of shows where the central character is a man and women watch them. So it's only the opposite way around. And I think that men will definitely enjoy it. And the songs are fantastic. The male characters are funny, they're interesting, they're rounded. So I feel quite confident that we're offering a lot for a quite wide age range and also for both sexes. It's absolutely not a show only for people who've picked up a Jackie magazine. That's another, another reason I love it. Um, in the same way that you don't, have to have, you don't have to know about running a shoe factory to enjoy kinky boots. You don't have to have lived on a Greek island to enjoy Mamma Mia. You don't have to know this magazine to recognise the characters and, and get involved in their stories. 
My main note to everybody when we first started talking about doing this show and I started meeting creative team members and just gathering the team together, I said, I want it to feel like a party on stage. And it does. <laughs> really? It does. That's brilliant. <laughs>